Okay, so just a quick um, look at the ECU here that I'm testing. Uh, I have a mess of stuff here. Um, some of the important things that we're going to look at is this light right here, which is the charging. So when that light comes on, that means it's charging. When that light goes off, it's not charging. This LED, when it's red, means that the relay is off. Actually, all these relays, when it's red, it's off. When it's green, that means it's switched on. So this is the ASD relay. This is the charging. This one is the transmission relay. And these are the two grid heaters. Uh, that's the wait to start light. This is just for 5 volts when it comes on. Uh, that's the EGR. Mm, that's pretty much that's pretty much it as far as the lighting. I have a bunch of other sensors hooked up where they're just you know being pulled low. And then I just have some controls for some of the sensors that I want to be able to adjust. Uh, mainly like the battery temperature sensor. Uh, and then there's the throttle and some other stuff there. Uh, but not, not really important for what I'm going to be showing you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch the ignition on, not the engine, just the ignition. And what we should see is we should see the ASD relay and the transmission relay switch on for maybe two seconds and they'll cut off. That's, that's totally normal. That's what they're supposed to do. Uh, we should also see the wait to start light come on and go out after a little while and we'll see the 5 volt come on. Okay, so our wait to start is off, so now we're ready to crank the engine, but before we do that, I want to go to the scan tool, and I want to go ahead and just read the codes. So I have one for governor pressure, I probably don't have that sensor hooked up, so we're just going to ignore that one for right now, and let's go to live data. And I want to just check the voltage sense, and I want to check what the target bolting edge for charging. And I want to check the battery temperature. Okay. So right now the target voltage is off because the engine's not running. But let me adjust the battery temperature so we can see it adjusting there. Like I can make it hotter. I can make it cooler. Uh, and that's all good. So let's go ahead and leave it set there. I'm going to turn on the um, engine here. Simulating a crank sensor. And we'll see that our generator field turned on. So it's charging, we see our ASD relay is on, our transmission come on and cut off, that's because of that uh, error code, and we see our grid heaters are on, and they're going to cut off now. Uh, I have the air temperature set at a relatively uh, good, good reading, so yeah, you'll see this guy switch on and off some, and if I was to adjust it, we can switch it, we can have the other guy come on. There we go. But I'm just going to leave that kind of in the middle. Um, but let's take a look at the charging. So now our voltage sense is 12.7. And our target charging is 14.15. So when our voltage sense hits 14.15, it will stop charging. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my voltage supply up to uh, sensing 15 now and here we see that the charging had cut off we see our ASD relay still on it's just a control for the generator has cut off so now I'm going to lower the voltage okay and we see the charging come back on since we dropped below the target charging voltage so the charging function mean properly. Um, everything else is doing good as well. The transmission relay 
Uh, it's doing all right. Let's check. Uh, so these are some of the codes. They're not really important when I'm bench testing because, uh, you know, bench testing is a little bit different. Some of that stuff I don't have hooked up. But let's check the live data. And see if there's anything in here. See if there's any limp in reason. So there's it's not in limp mode. But um yeah, every everything is perfectly normal here. That stuff I don't have hooked up. Transmission I think I have the transmission temperature hooked up. Let's see if we can adjust that. So yeah, I adjusted the transmission temperature. Okay. There's the intake air, so the air is 180F. We'll make it a little bit hotter. Okay, there you go. So, uh, this is just a quick test um, at the voltage right now where it's kind of back and forth. This is just a quick test just to kind of show you that it is functioning properly. Uh, I had spent a lot of time last night testing every single, you know, sensor and whatnot on there. And uh, I'm not seeing any issues at all with anything. E everything is functioning as it should. Uh, so definitely going to have issues external to the ECU for the uh, charging.